Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel. Back with you with another investment video today. I'm going to be doing my usual monthly portfolio update as I've done my round of investing for the end of the month. So we're going into it with what new stocks I've bought and what positions I've added in and also the monthly review of how the stocks have performed and also I'll be going over my dividends that I've received as I've now had all the ones for August. So I'll go into my free trade portfolio now. You can see you can see it currently stands at three thousand four hundred eleven pounds and thirty seven pence. You can see all this month it's gone up and down, up and down, quite volatile this month with all the fears of the recession and all Donald Trump's China trade war and whatnot. But I'll get into the stocks now with you guys. First one is Verizon, up around two point six percent this month. I own eight shares of Verizon with an average cost of forty five pounds and eighty two pence. I'm down around 0.6% on my investment. Next on the list we have is AT&T, up around 11% this month. I own 12 shares, average cost of £24.92, and I'm up around 14% on my investment. Been a really good, solid performing company, company for me, AT&T. Really impressed. Next on the list we have is Coca-Cola. They're up around 1% for this month. I own seven shares with the average cost of £36.96 and I'm up around 19% on my investment. Next up we have is Abvi. You can see they've been quite down this month but they have managed to claw their way back up somewhat. Down around 1% for the month. I own five shares at the moment with the average price of £58.33 and and they're down around 7% on my investment. I've actually got an order queued for Abvi, as obviously they are still quite undervalued, I feel, so I thought I'd add in that position and try to dollar cost average. Next we have is Colgate, up, up around 1% for the month. I own four shares, average cost of £57.79. I'm up around 2.6% for the month. Next on the list, we have a Starbucks. Really good performance stock for me since I've purchased these guys. Got in a, quite a good time, lucky really. One of the instances where you do time the market, but accidentally. Up 8% for the month. I own three shares, the average cost of £73, and I'm up around 6%. Next up, we have is Microsoft. Down around 1% this month. I own two shares of Microsoft with the average cost of £112.24 and I'm down around 3% on my position. Next up is Johnson & Johnson. You can see up and down this month, up around 1.8%. I own two shares with the average cost of £105.50 and I'm down around 1.5% on my investment. Next we have is Ford, who have took a bit of a tank in this month. Probably down around 12%. I own 25 shares currently. But I've got four shares which are in the queue. As I thought, a good time to dollar cost average again with Ford. So I bought four more shares which are in waiting. But I currently own 25 shares. Average cost of £8.12. And I'm down 20, uh, £24 or 11.89%. Next we have is Shell. Another one struggled a bit this month. Down around 10%. I own six shares with the average cost of £24.80 and I'm down around 9% on my investment. Next, Imperial Brands, down 2.8% this month. I own six shares with the average cost of £20.20 and I'm up around 2.27% on my investment with Imperial Brands. Next, we have a bond, US corporate bond, up around 4.6% this month. I own two shares with the average price of £42.08, and I'm up 7%. Next, another first of my new stocks which I've purchased, which I thought would be a, was a great buying point, Pfizer. You can see it down around probably 20% this month. So I bought two shares for an um, average price of £28.60 and I'm down 1.46% on my investment with Pfizer. Next we have is Aviva, 
who are down. It's about 10% this month. I own 14 shares, average cost of £4.12, and I'm down 12% on my investment with Aviva. B, next one is BP, down around 4% this month. I own 10 shares of BP with the average price of £5.52, and I'm down around 11%. Next up we have is Bank of America, down 10% this month, they was in the green not long back, so you can see they've took a bit of a bit of a tumbling. I own two shares with the average cost of £21.96, but I'm down just 0.83% on my investment. Next, another one of my new purchases, if it decides to load up, there we go, it's the FTSE All World Dividend aristocrat a global high dividend as you can see it tracks an index of high dividend paying companies across the world so i own one share with the average price of 43 pounds and 56 pence and i'm currently down one part uh, around one and a half percent next we have is wells fargo down around two percent this month I own one share with the average cost of £35.88 and they're da- up around 1.16% on my investment. Next on the list we have is National Grid, up around 1% this month. I own three shares with the average price of £8.22 and I'm up around 4% on my investment. Next up we have is Taylor Wimpy who are down 13%, 13.8% sorry. I own 14 shares, the average cost of uh, £1.81, pence, and I'm down 18% on my investment. Next on the list we have is Lloyds, another one who's been struggling, down 10% this month. I own 39 shares, with the average cost of 62 pence, and I'm down 19% with my investment. Next up, guys, when it decides to load up again. There we go. Commercial properties, um, they're currently down around 5.5% for this month. I own 16 shares with the average cost of £1.18, and I'm down 8% on my initial investment. And finally, we have his Vodafone, and they're up, really, really performed well, up around 13% this month. I own five shares with the average price of £1.35, and they're up 12.39% overall on my investment. So that's the portfolio, guys. But there's a couple of things I need to show you, as I have purchased some new positions, well, pending positions, which are just waiting to go through from free trade. I'll show you what I've got. I've basically purchased, I bought four more shares of Ford and one in Abvi, a couple of positions I've already had, which I've just tried to dollar cost average. But my new ones that I've put waiting to purchase are Intel, Walmart and PepsiCo. I think these are really good, solid companies. I think will do really well for me, obviously. All been around for a really long time. And yeah, so that's my portfolio, guys. I think I've got around 26 stocks now in my portfolio and I said I wanted to aim for 20, between 25 and 30 at the moment as I want to try and build up some other positions once I get to a good enough. Once I've got a good number of stocks in, I'll try and just add more to the ones I've got now rather than buying new ones. So I do. I have had my eye on Apple, which I've had for a long time. I've to buy for a long time. I don't think it's at the best buying point right now, but... I will be wanting to get my hands on a few more ETFs as well. I'm on the S&P 500, the FTSE 100, just to be a bit more diverse. But yeah, as you can see, the last month, the graph has been a bit up and down, but that's the nature of the game. So another thing, guys, I've received all my dividends now for August. And I, re- I think I received a, a, a Verizon dividend of around £3. 75 i think it was at&t around four pounds but yeah it's really it's been it's looking really good guys so 
If you could like this video and please subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that, guys. I know this community is growing and it's really, really supportive. Thanks for everyone who's been liking the videos and commenting. So if you could let me know what you think of the portfolio and anything you'd like to change or anything you do like, I'll appreciate all comments and reply. Thanks for your time, guys. Enjoy. Goodbye.